Dear students, today I am going to throw lights on advertising, its meaning and types of advertising. Advertising is not a new word, it is very familiar, popular in the society and you are aware of this particular word. Advertising, the word advertising is derived from Latin word advertere which means to turn the mind to towards a product, towards a service or towards an idea. Just if you think of about it, most of our waking hours are spent in receiving advertisement messages. For example, if you open a new newspaper or magazine, definitely you can see lot of examples or advertisements or if you sit in front of television or if you sit switch on radio, definitely there also you will uh, witness good number of visuals, advertisements, commercials, etc. Or during your travel, you can observe various type of roadside or outdoor advertisements, or do, etc. etc. So, advertisement has become a kind of common in our society. American Advertisers Association defines advertising as any paid form of non-personal presentation of goods, service and idea by an identified sponsor. So that means advertisement is not free. Someone, something has to be paid for making use of either newspaper or magazine or radio or television or outdoor advertisements like vehicle or wall of a house or public places etc. That's not free. This is paid form of non-personal. This is not salesmanship. But advertisement is broadly described as salesmanship in print. Actually, individually or salesmanship belongs to individual ownership. Advertisement belongs to mass communication. Comparatively, salesmanship is much active, much result oriented, target oriented, but due to vast geographical area, due to some technical reason, most of the companies or most of the institution prefer mass media for the publication of advertisements. And now with the help of this particular background, let us have a glance on the types of various types of advertisements. On the basis of its nature and uh, content, advertisements are broadly classified under five major categories and those are first one classified advertisements. This has become very popular and familiar in newspaper and newspapers are the best platform for the publication of this advertisements. This is sweet and short and as the name itself indicates under this category there is no freedom for the advertiser, there is no choice but publicity message appears under common heading that is classified advertisements. Again there will be Again, there will be classifications like matrimonial, job or jobs, situation vacant, wanted, site for sale, etc., etc. But advertiser here has to prefer only those boxes. There is no freedom for him to expand. There is no freedom for the advertiser to make use of color or photos. And there is no scope for preparing attractive advertisements. There is no choice and compulsorily advertiser has to accept the guidelines or conditions of the particular newspaper office. But this is a special privilege of the advertiser. There is concession for the advertiser for such categories. Just with 200 or 300 rupees an ad a person can highlight something, highlight a message and if it reaches national level readers. So that is one of the special privilege. This is the classified advertisements. And next second one is retail advertisements. As as the name itself indicates that is local advertisements. The purpose of this advertisement is to attract the attention of a customer towards a shop not towards a product and major objective here is to improve the sales of the shop not of a particular product and normally shopkeeper or owner of the shop wants to improve his business so that is why his main target is to divert or attract the attention of the localites towards his shop and every products available in this particular shop irrespective of maybe the technical or stationery etc etc and so for another important objective of this is to this advertisement is to compete with the rivals and normally local newspaper local radio stations local channels are the best platforms so local customers are the potential 
marketing a potential buyers for this particular advertisements national level newspapers are not boundaries or suitable platform for the publication of such advertisements and next category is national or general display advertisements as the name itself indicates the major intention of this national or general display ad is to popularize the product popularize the brand of the company and another major objective of this ad is to attract the attention of national level customers who are scattered in different nook and corner of the society towards a particular product not towards a shop that is the major difference between local and this advertisements so you can free to you are free to purchase the product anywhere but the intention of the company ad is to attract your attention towards popularize the product normally national level newspaper magazines radio stations channels are the best platform for the publication of such advertisements so national level companies are responsible for the cost of this advertisements and this advertisements helps a lot to improve the sales of a particular shop so that's a kind of complementary towards the improvement of business and another major intention of this particular national level advertisement is to compete with the rival product or brand or company and generally as we observe film stars celebrities sports stars are the models for various national level companies and most of the companies with the help of these celebrities try to capture the sentiments try to attract the attention of the customers towards a particular shop so full page advertisements or 5 to 10 pages are normally reserved for the in the magazines reserved for the publication of such advertisements another important category among the advertisement is public service advertisements this is not commercial national level advertisement is commercial in its nature but here the, as the name itself indicates, this is self-explanatory. The major objective of public service ad is to attract the attention of publics towards a pro national level issue. For example, vote during general election and such advertisements normally appears in public places. And here the purpose is to create awareness and there is nothing to sell normally government of india ngo etc are involved in such advertisements for example family planning or save water or vote during elections or uh, donate your eyes donate blood etc save forest save wildlife or uh, uh, care for aged care for uh, orphanage etc etc are the best example or for example use of pin code it helps to carry your letter speedily there is no hidden agenda under this particular category and ultimate objective is to create awareness among the publics and purpose is to build a healthy nation and latest name of such advertisement is ad uh, development ad or public service ad public awareness ad these are all the different names of uh, public service advertisements another major category of advertisement is professional ad and here professionals like doctors engineers dentist plays major role in improving the sales of various products and if doctor suggest a customer to make use of a particular brand a particular paste or brush etc or soap etc etc then customers are ready to accept it and normally such customers go to the shop and purchase it without any rational thinking if a if an engineer suggest a particular aspirant to make use of particular brand of cement for the construction of house considering the weather air weather air rain uh, hot weather etc etc normally the owner or applicant or aspirant normally suggest normally follow the suggestions of such engineers so that is the knack of that is the technique of this particular advertisements here medical companies or uh, cement companies generally approach contractors or doctors and convince the doctors to promote such advertisements such products and doctors here acts as a kind of middleman or agent and doctor receives message from companies and suggest it to the customers and normally customers are ready to accept such words of the doctors normally other patients or other customers like uh, house owners etc are ready to follow the 
guidelines or words of the engineer etc etc newspapers magazines radio and televisions etc are not important or essential for such advertisements companies first of all forward one medical rep or sales rep to the doctor's shop and just with the help of distributing the samples to the doctors and make a kind of campaign and without the help of mass media easily companies can reach the audiences or customers so that is why this is called as professional advertisements last but not least company advertisements or and this is nothing but a kind of institutional advertisements lot of advertisements are being appeared in newspapers and magazines those are from various institutions like for example if a college or a educational institutions has certain materials to be highlighted in newspaper regarding appointment regarding tender notice etc etc immediately approach newspapers and uh, wanted columns are co very common in newspapers etc etc and here in this case uh, institutions simply approach newspaper office and prepare the or forward the ready made materials to the newspaper office and such advertisements are uh, generally normally appears in various newspaper office regularly so so in summary uh, success of an advertisement depends upon several factor whether it is classified or general or public service that doesn't matter but here creativity counts a lot if an advertisement message is very creative, active, dynamic, automatically it is possible to capture the attention of customers towards a particular product or shop etc. So again here depends upon the nature of the product. Some products are restricted to the particular region or area and some products are beyond the boundaries. Marketing has expanded to even international arena. That's why some companies has to prepare global uh, uh, based advertisements and s some advertisements are restricted to the country only. So that's why it depends upon the uh, content, nature of the product, etc, etc.